What's going on? All thanks for tuning in once again. Let's talk junior middleweight boxing. So Fondora versus Tim Zhu. Just a breakdown on that fight. Of course, leave your take on it. And um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So basically, it's for the unification bouts, um, WBC, WBO. And Keith Thurman dropped out, so Fondora steps in. You know, a tall southpaw, 6'6", six, six, basically the size of an NBA player, you know big guy you know just a tall guy um southpaw as well you know we all know that keith thurman's are orthodox so it's a complete completely different fighter you know um tim Zhu, you know stepping up against fondor fondor it's it's a tricky one you know um as you know styles do make fights so you know who knows you know who knows what will happen um what we do know is that Tim Zhu did beat Mendoza and Mendoza was the guy that uh, I believe his name is Brian Mendoza please correct me if I am wrong um, Mendoza did beat Fundora and it was by KO so basically I think that's the the blueprint for um, for Tim Zhu you know the footprint to follow is what I'm saying um, the way that he done it was that Fundora was in a low guard position, you know, both hands down and caught him over the top. And, you know, that's something that Zhu does. You know, he throws at speed where guys don't see it. You know, he's very fast, um, can throw it stationary, can throw it without even looking like it's going to be a fast or a, a powerful shot. You know, that's what Tim Zhu's good at. Speed and power, you know, great combination. And... Even though, you know, Fondora's six six, he doesn't really have much power on the back foot, you know, he doesn't really sit down on his punches, you know, you don't really see guys phase from him punching them, you know, when he's on the back foot. You know, usually he's on the front foot, um, you know, deep inside the pocket, throwing short short um power shots, you know. So he's basically giving up his height, you know, 6'6", six, six, you know, he's got a massive body to hit, so I mean, the target's there for, for Zoo because, you know, he does tend to tuck his elbows in when he, when he is on the low guard, so that's, you know, that's a perfect opportunity for Zoo to catch him with a straight, and most importantly, you know, done what um, Brian Minoza done, you know, like I said, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong on the name, I'm just going off of uh, memory, Mendoza, I think's his name. I may be wrong again, but um, so I mean, he's got two, two, two options here. You know, so he can either go to the body with a straight shot, or he can go to, go over the top. You know, when um, Fedora's got that that low guard, you know, with the shot with the elbow tucked in, and you know, I think that's what's going to be the problem here in this fight. I think that. Um, Fandor is not going to phase you with the power, um, and I think that eventually he will come forward. And when he does go with the low guard, I think that Tsumzu will catch him. Now Tsumzu, you know, he is a sort of um, a good fighter. You know, he is fast, and I mean, if he's going to prepare for Terence Crawford, you know, um, this is the perfect fight for him. I know you can say, well, you know, Crawford's not that tall. Um, Crawford's a southpaw, you know. Crawford's actually, you know, an orthodox fighter. Uh, a lot of people say that he is better in a southpaw position. But um, why I say it's a perfect fight for him is because Crawford is just so unpredictable. You know, he's, he's such an unpredictable fighter. You know, you never know what sort of fighter you're going to fight in Crawford. You know, it doesn't matter what you're watching, what you're trying to study, what you know, what you're trying to think of a game plan. You know, you've got to be ab be able to adjust, which you know, um, Tim Zhu's gonna have to do in this fight. You know, adjust to a completely different fighter. You know, this isn't Thurman bouncing around, coming at angles. You know, this is a guy that's gonna be on the back foot. You know, throwing uh, the jab and the cross and. You know, trying to turn it into a fight coming forward, you know, using his height um, to try to bully the fighter, you know, on the front foot. But he's challenging the wrong sort of fighter to do that. You know, I believe that Fandora, if he had good power on the back foot, 
you know, if he really did sit down with it on his punches and, you know, try to land something meaningful on the back foot, you know, to slow a guy down, he'll be very hard to beat, you know, a 6'6 guy in a south pole position, you know, throwing hard straight lefts, you know, it'll be a completely different fight, but because he's not really a power puncher on the back foot, you know, he's He's thinking about coming forward and trying to hurt a guy. You know, I think Tyson Fury coming forward, trying to hurt a guy that, that punches harder than him. You know, and we saw what happened in the Nganu fight, didn't we? You know, basically giving away his height where he could have easily outboxed a guy. Now, I'm not saying that Zeus is easily to outbox. I'm just saying that, <coughs> you know, when you do have those um, advantages of being tall and especially a south pole, you know, you've got to use those, um, you've got to use those advantages in, in the fight, you know, um, and I just think that because um, Van Dor is not going to be able to hurt him on the back foot, I think that Sue is going to be able to come at different angles, he is going to be able to slip shots, and he is going to throw something that's going to, you know, catch Fondor off guard, you know, Zeus is a is a fast, like I say, fast, powerful puncher, you know, he does um, have power to his punches, and he doesn't wind them up, you know, which is always dangerous, you know, he can just throw them stationary, he can throw them at any time and hurt you, you know, so for that reason, I think that Zeus is going to win by knockout, I think that He's got the footprint to do the job, you know, the Mendoza fight, and again, you know, correct me if I'm wrong with the name, you know, once, um, it's just about picking his timing, you know, once Fondor starts being comfortable coming forward, as soon as he drops that low guard, you know, tucks in the elbows, there's the shot there, you know, straight left to the body, possibly follow it up with a, a right hook or you know, left hook, I should say, my apologies, left hook, so straight right left hook, I think that'll do that'll do it for Zoo, or just straight over the top, you know, um, speed and power, power, very dangerous combination, so I mean, Zoo, like I say, he's good at doing that, so I'm picking him by KO, I think it is going to be late, I think that Fandora will be in the fight, you know, while it lasts, but I think I'm choosing round, round 8 or round 9, um, Tim Zhu by knockout um, but yeah that's my take on it anyway leave yours what do you think of it what do you think of Crawford do you think he can beat any of these guys um, who do you think wins leave your take on it catch you next time peace